Welcome back, everybody. Now, let's be honest, okay? We're always thinking of ways to store the extra toilet paper in the bathroom, right? Well, Canada has a fun way to actually make a game out of it. I'm just saying what's true out there, Ken. Where do you store yours? We have, like, shelves or whatever. We have sometimes in one of the bathrooms, With we the have the stack. The, the stack you know? We have nothing. I do the whole, like, Flynn, Margo, <laughs> I need an extra. Well, this, <laughs> this DIY is really for Ken, then, isn't it? <laughs> so I thought this was, like, a super cute and a fun way to store it. It makes it more not an unsightly thing. It makes more of a little, like, mini tongue-in-cheek art piece. It's super fun. There's it's no doubt fun. about it. Let's get right into it, because I know that the, the, the shelf aspect to this, it, 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 it's got a certain puzzle feel to it, right? Is right. it difficult to kind of calculate the puzzleness of it all? No, and it looks complicated. It's actually one piece. You okay. You cut one piece of wood multiple times, and then it fits together. Is that right? Start off, this is a, a one by six, and it's 23 inches long. So that you can get cut at the hardware store. It's just regular pine, very inexpensive. Okay. Then what you're going to do is measure out, and I've already pre-measured out with here with a pencil. What I've got is a five inches. Most toilet paper rolls are around four to four and a half. So okay. as you can see here, I made pencil marks, five inches, and then three quarters inch, which is the width of the wood. Right, which five, is Five, three quarter, five, three quarter, five, and then two and a half. Very here. smart. So very smart. That's all you're going to do. And then all you're going to do is cut out these little notches. And you're just going to repeat that eight times. Okay. Very simple. And that can be a little bit tricky. Obviously, we're going to use a jigsaw today. Right. If you don't have one, you can always rent one. And, and they're you not can use a by it hand. You can actually cut it by hand, too. A little okay. hand saw. But you've got a great tip. Because yes. the first thing I saw when I saw this is I was like, how are you going to cut out the little bottom piece right. here? So I know you know how to do this, but for everyone at home, it's a little tricky. This is like an interesting like woodworking one-on-one -on -one to cut out notches very easily. What you want to do, if you want to look here, we're going to cut, first of all, straight down all the way to our stop line. Then in our second one, we're going to cut all the way to our stop line. We're then going to back up, and we're going to cut along this curve. Then this piece is going to drop out. And then we, all we have to do is go back and cut this. So three cuts, and now we'll get out. We're going to show them how to okay, do it. Okay, let's right try. Yeah, let's get the glasses on, though, there first. There you go. Thank you, thank and really you. that's all you need to know. Once you need to know, know how to do that, you can do this entire project yourself. All right, let's give it a shot here. Okay. So first cut, straight, all the way down. Well, let me start on the other side. Okay. I'm going to cut. I'll start on this guy here. There you go. And this is one of those pine. It's very, very easy to cut. Um, it's a great starter wood. There you go. So that's our first cut. Second cut is gonna be do the exact same thing. Straight all the way down. And then, hold on here. There you go. So now I've got those two cuts. Man, I, I just realized that I should be wearing my actual glasses for this piece. <laughs> okay, so now oh. I'm gonna come in on an angle. Exactly, and cut that curve. There we go. Just Nice and easy, very simple. And boom, there we go. And then you try and drag that out. There you go. There we go. And now that so this piece... will come out. Boom. And then uh, I would come in the other way and cut exactly. that last little piece. And then you might have to like kind of just sand, sand it down it a, little a little bit. bit. Okay. Depending upon how good you are. Exactly right. Well, <laughs> I, I intended to be a little better, but that's not bad. That's, that's not, not bad. bad. Okay. So you do that and you basically do that eight times. And I've got the eight pieces here. If you want to grab those you four got it, there. You got it, you got it. We'll and that's all there is. That all it is. So really, it's that one little cut. And then we're just going to do a little puzzle here. I'm just going to take these four pieces. And Cam, yep. you want to take those four. You got it. And slot them together. So I'll just, I'll just hold this above exactly. so you can adjust the below pieces go ahead, accordingly. Go ahead. There that guy's go. in there. There, there we, we go. Need this guy to come over. There we go. Last and one. There we go. Here you go. You want to grab that last piece? Uh, if I can. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Boom, and you cut these because they're all that that width that you cut them is the width of the um, the wood. It all then just slides in. And what's great about this is you don't need to nail it, you don't need to screw it. Now, if you're a beginning first time you've sort of done this and you don't get it exactly right, you can always go back in with a little bit of wood glue to tighten it up. But really, that's all you have to do. Boom, done, one. How okay. fantastic is this? And so much fun. And, and like you say, it's a great project if you're like a beginner carpenter out exactly. there. Exactly. It's a good and way to test the skill. Exactly right. So now we got to hang it, though. What, what tips do you have as far as a bracket system that would work really well for something like this? So those of you at home who saw when I did the airplane shells, I'm yep. using those same brackets. These little ones, they totally disappear. They're just Adjustable, adjustment of three quarters, and you slide the wood right in, um, get it hung, and then you want to make your X's, and X's are the exact same technology. Good. Two pieces, these are four inches, so it's going to fit into our five-inch piece, two notches, and then all you do, slide those 
right down, and boom. And then you put them on the diagonal, sand. guys. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Right. Okay, and good. then all you do, you hang it. You know, you can stain it. You can paint it to match your bathroom cabinet, um, whatever you want to do to sort of make it fit in with your room. And did we say just glue would really keep this together, right? You don't mention if, that? If you cut them right, you don't even need glue. Okay, good. If you get a little off with your cuts, glue will sort of... You can fix any mistakes. Ex exactly.